Hey, what is up guys? This is Zach at Dream Media Home Theater and today we're going to be doing a cool little installation down here in Dallas. The configuration that we're going to be using is a 5.3.2 Dolby Atmos system using the Martin Logan Electrostats in the front, the ESL X's with the ESL C for our center speaker, as well as the Electromotion IW's for our rear and the Electromotion IC's overhead with a Dynamo. 1600x for our speaker system and then for projection we're going to be using a cinescope 2x35 for our screen and we're going to be using a 133 inch screen and then we're going to be using a rs2000 as our projector which does have the motorized lens memory we're going to be integrating in things like lighting control as well as automating a universal remote to control all of the devices this room is not wired, so what we're doing right now is wiring in all of our speakers. We're going to have our front left here, our front right here, our center. And this is where the screen's going to go, centered up on this wall. Over here at the rear of the room, customer ordered a new seating. We're going to be putting our rear here, left and right, and then overhead Atmos here. And then our projector will be mounted here. We're also going to put an additional subwoofer in the back of the room, that 1600X. All of our equipment is going to be terminating back here in the closet. Down here, I'm going to knock out a couple of these shelves and put in a floor standing rack. I'm going to be using the FS series, 15U rack. And we're going to be pulling in power down there, as well as all our speaker wire. And I'm also going to hardwire back to the router a CAT6 line so that everything is operating as quickly as possible. Attic access is somewhat limited on this project. I'll show you what's going on up here. And you see there's not a whole lot of room to work, but the guys are gonna do the best they can to get in there with minimal sheetrock repair. But more than likely, we'll, we will need to do some sheetrock repair. Yeah, back here is where the router is, as well as the security system for the home. So we're gonna hardwire right in, make sure that he's getting the maximum speed possible. Guys, we got a whole day's work cut out for us here, and I'll upload the process as we complete the work. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, we're moving right along. You can see the guys had to cut a hole up here at the top of the wall just because there is very, very limited attic access, which is pretty typical on exterior walls. Now we're just gonna get the line fished down to our front right. We're gonna be using 14 gauge throughout the entire room, and you can see we're working on our center speaker and our front left now. We just got our rears cut into the wall rear left rear right and now i'm going to work on getting my atmos traced out for the guys so that they can get those cut in we're moving along all right guys so since this is a retrofit situation i'm having to do a lot of precise measurements to make sure that everything is as close to dolby's recommendations as possible so here's what's going on we have our front lines and we had to cut at the top of the wall on all of them there's just no attic access at all so basically what's going on is we have a guy up in the attic and we have a guy down here. We drill up and through the framing at the top right there and then shoot it up to the guy in the attic in like this part where he can actually stand because there's no way you can get into this part, especially not with a drill. So all three of these are in back here. We're working on these guys. It looks like we were able to get this one down with no issues. Pitch of the roof probably is a little bit steeper there, which gives you more access to get your body into the wall. Now, I just got our Atmos traced out, which was also difficult because the framing wasn't really cooperating. But you can see I have this one at 60 inches, 61 inches exactly, off center. This is the center of the room, which is where our projector is gonna go. And then here's our other Atmos speaker. And you can see I was marking out the studs so that we don't have any framing issues when we go to cut these in. Alright guys, so I just got our RS2000 out of the box and I put the projector mount on. I just wanted to cover which mount I'm using. This is the fine adjust projector mount for Strong, the large from Strong. Uh, and that's a Snap AV brand. I love this mount because it has micro adjustments on the back. Instead of just using like a screwdriver to tighten it down, there's actually gears inside of the box which allow you to just click by click by click get your calibration 
or your alignment just right whenever you're getting this thing installed. So let's take a look here. You can see the JVC's bolt pattern is massive. It's huge in comparison to a lot of projectors like the Sony or the Epson's. So you need a big mount like this. But what I really like about this one is this flexibility right there. The fact that it has these knobs here on the back that you can adjust horizontal, rotation, roll, and tilt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this mounted to the ceiling back here. And then we're gonna get our electrical put in and our HDMI and cat cables ran. We're moving along. Here I am up on the ladder and I'm about to get this wall plate mounted to the ceiling to attach our projector to it. This is the wall plate and right here is where we're going to be mounting the projector. I don't want it to get too close to this vent. I don't want it too close to the back wall either because I need to put our HDMI's in and our power and there's some vents that need a little bit of airflow there. But also we need our throw correct for the screen size that we're doing, which is 133 inch black diamond. So this is the stud right here. And this is the center of the screen. You can see I have my center mark down there too. So what I'm gonna be doing is mounting the uh, projector mount into the stud, like right here and here. And then I'm gonna use these heavy duty 100 pound acres on this side. So that's 200 pounds of drywall support plus the stud, which should be more than sufficient for this projector. We always like to over brace things here just to ensure that nothing's gonna happen to the customer's $8,000 projector. Also helps me sleep good at night. But we're moving right along with this project. It's looking good. All right, so after you have your studs hit here, and then your chute rock screws in, that puppy is not going anywhere. So you can go ahead and put your top plate on right here, just to cover it up and make it look really clean. Just like that. And then the projector will screw in and slip it right on. Okay, so now that our projector mounts up here, we're going to go ahead and cut in two holes. One's going to be for power and one's going to be for our HDMI, Cat6, Cat5, and pretty much running everything. Now we're just going to run our lines down these two holes here. Okay, so we are right now getting our electrical lines in. You can see we got our Romax put in for our rack and the guys are working on moving over an outlet over here, which is just gonna make it really clean for the center speaker, the left speaker and the right speaker because you can see there's no outlet right here. So we don't wanna have a wire draped across the floor over to here. So we're just gonna install one additional outlet Go ahead and spend the time and make it really nice and clean, which we're working on right now. We're also gonna be doing another cool little thing for the customer. See these cans right here? While they're up there, we're gonna snip them. And since they're getting rid of their fan, we're gonna pull the wiring over from the fan to these cans and put them on their own switch. So that through the remote system, what I can do is program in like front cans and rear cans. So whenever they're watching a movie, they can have the front cans off and have the rear cans still on, like maybe dim down to have some light whenever they're eating their popcorn. I think it'd be pretty cool. All right guys, this is the final product installed. This is the Mark Logan Electro Motion IW, which clings right to the front like that. Very well built product at a very reasonable price point. 
customer's gonna be pretty happy. All right, well, I've been stuck on the phone taking orders for you guys, which we really do appreciate. I'll get those items shipped out today for you. But in here on this project locally, we are coming right along. You can see we got all of our front lines dropped in down through the wall, which these will be patched tomorrow by my drywall guy. And all of the other ones we were able to get in without any sheetrock repair. This wall was just extremely tight. My electricians also dropped in new Leetron switches, which I can integrate into the remote control. And for you guys, we're shipping products too. You can actually do this at home extremely easy. What we're using is the Lutron Cassetta system. So, and we're pairing that with the Universal Remote, the Harmony Pro model. So you can program that yourself at home. We can just ship it to you. And in addition to that, if you guys get stuck, we can log in with your access and help you with programming from here in Texas. So what we did is we broke out the wiring on the ceiling. So now, through these switches, he can turn off just the rears, or turn them back on, and then he can turn off just the front, and then turn them back on, which is pretty cool because he'll probably wanna like turn this off, even though we're doing an ALR black diamond screen, it's still better to have less light in the room. So he can turn down these in the front and then still have these guys on, and even just have them on and you know, dimmed so they can see what they're doing whenever they're eating their popcorn and having their drinks when they're watching their movie. But we're moving right along. Everything's looking good. Actually, while I was gone, the guys already got the end ceilings put in as well. These are the Martin Logan ICs. They look really sharp. And down here, you can see we got all our wiring dropped. This is all 14 gauge running to all the speakers. You can see I got this marked. We're going to get this knocked out and get our rack brought up. Power outlets put in. Power outlets put in all the way across the front for all our speakers. It's looking really good. Everything's nice and level, just like it was put in by the builder. Jerry's back there right now working on getting that line fished over. guys we're back from lunch and this installation is moving along we just unboxed our Martin Logan ESL X's which you can find in a separate video if you want to see the product being unboxed but we got Jerry over here working on getting connected in we just got the power hooked up right here to the unit we put some banana plugs on here just to give it a little bit more of a premium finish and we're not by amping these we're gonna leave our plates in, which is going to bridge the power between the two terminals, our highs and lows. And we're working on getting our rack over here unboxed. And this is a little 15U rack. We're going to be putting this guy over here. And we're going to remove a couple shelves. And I'm about to put this projector up. This is the other tower here coming along all right guys so we just got our rack broke down and this is a 15u and we're putting this light kit right here in the top we're gonna go ahead and get these lined out get our equipment put in
Okay, so the next part of this installation is getting the screen mounted to the wall. This is very simple. Screen Innovations supplies these little brackets, same ones they use on the Zero Edge screen. And basically you just hit two studs and hang it on there like a pitcher. What we're doing right now is finding where the studs are in the wall. And then we're going to mark it out, measure down from the ceiling to where we want the screen to start, and then get these bolted in. All right, so you can see that we have our two mounting points up here on the wall and now we're just going to hang the screen up and where we're going to hook it is going to be right in here mm -hmm. and that's going to hang right there And just like that, you got a new screen up on the wall. We will want to measure to make sure that it's equal on both sides and that it's level with earth. Okay guys, so this is the installation. Next we're going to align the projector, but basically we just measured 51 inches both sides to make sure that it's dead center on the wall, which will line up with our projector that's back here. And then 16 inches from the top all the way around, uh, or all the way across the top just to make sure that everything aesthetically looks really nice for the customer. Now, if you guys would like to purchase Screen Innovation Screen, we are a direct dealer and would be happy to get you this particular screen or any of the Screen Innovation screens. We have a low price guarantee and nationwide free shipping. Right, guys i almost forgot to show you this i was just getting my wiring set up for the projector and hooking up the remote system those of you that are using the harmony system that we ship to you and you have your equipment in another room you can't use the blaster so you need to use an individual ir sensor or a trigger but what i recommend is that you just cut one of the ir sensors like this and you can use a cat cable just like two strands like this and what i'm doing is using the green part of the ir sensor to the orange and then i'm using the copper part the outer conductor going to the white basically i'm just extending this cable from here down to that side and i'm using the sensor on this side and i'm using the 3.5 on that side going into the harmony hub and that'll give me the ability to control this with all the equipment and the hub in the closet all right guys this install is coming along we're nearing the end of the day it's five o'clock you can see we got all our speakers in throughout the entire room. Projectors mounted, all the wires nice and tidy. Jerry's working on getting our rack cleaned up right now. Let's take a look. Got all our devices in here. Let's see how he did on the back side. Oh, wow, nice. Let's see, we did some banana pins on this. We got our HDMIs, these are DHCP 2.2, 18 gigabit per second, 4K HDMIs maximizing our potential everything's hardwired in it's looking pretty sharp next thing i'm going to do is come into the settings of the projector get our image flipped so i'm going to go to menu you see over here you can go right into your settings here and get the installation mode change to ceiling And then it flips your image around like that. So next, I'm going to go into lens control right here on the remote. And I'm going to get this down to where I can see what's going on here. So I'm going to hit it two more times to go to shift. And I'm going to shift my image down to my screen. It's like this all the way down. Now, one thing you need to make sure is that your projector is level with earth which I'm gonna go do right now. Level front to back like this, as well as side to side. And then if you match your screen to the level of the sheetrock, you'll just match the level of the projector to the screen. But it's important that front to back, your projector's level. Because if not, you'll end up with a keystone. So I'm gonna hop up there and get that done. All right guys, I got this adjusted for our Cinescope format. You can see 
Everything is ready to rock and roll. And the projector is all set. We're gonna go ahead and get our, our rack slid into place and the side panels back on get cleaned up and get out of here. We had a shipping issue with the subwoofer to where it got damaged in shipping. So we sent that puppy back and we're getting a brand new one for the customer. So this is it for today. We'll be back and I'll continue this video whenever we finish the installation and give you guys a demo. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up guys? This is Zach and I'm back here today on this project down in Dallas and I got Paulo out here getting this wall patched up. You can see that the three holes that we made are now gone ran out of paint but everything's textured nice and smooth just like the wall was before that's where our holes were front left we had to cut one there for the center and then the right it's just like we were never here sometimes we need to cut holes and when we do this is the man to do it for you paulo And you can see he did a really nice job of wrapping everything up, protecting the floors from any paint, and all the way up the stairs as well, keeping your home from getting the wood floors nicked up. It's all about the little things, guys. It takes a little bit more time, but we do protect your home and do quality work. Now, once he gets all this plastic taken off the walls, I can go ahead and finish up my calibration and let the customer enjoy it this weekend. Check it out guys, Paula got everything repaired. Paint's still a little wet, but everything looks very nice. I just wrapped up this project. This is a Martin Logan 5.3.2 Dolby Atmos system. And we're using the ESL X's in the front for left and right, ESL C for our center speaker. These towers have subs in them. You can call it a 5.1.2 if you'd like, or 5.3.2, depending on how you want to classify these subs and towers. But we do have a dedicated sub in the rear of the room. We're running the 1600X, the Dynamo from Martin Logan, and the IWs, Electromotion in walls in the rear, and the ICs, Electromotions overhead, with the JVC RS2000, Black Diamond, 235 screen, and we're powering everything up with an Integra 7.1 receiver. And today I'm going to be doing a demo for you guys. And I'm gonna use this Blu-ray here. This is Venom to kind of give you an idea of the experience that this system can give you. Stay tuned, we'll get this baby rocking. All right guys, well we're all wrapped up on this project and we will be back and I will update a video for phase two. We're gonna be putting in some automated shades in this room. Whenever we come back for that phase, I'll show you what's going on, but we just finished up with this and the system turned out phenomenal. We just played some demos, which I'll attach to the video. The customer's thrilled. I'm extremely happy with how things turned out. Let me just show you an overview of the system and exactly what's installed. You can see we have the Martin Logans in the front, the ESL X's. These are the electrostats with the built-in woofers in the base. The entire unit is a transducer. You have the ESL-C there is our center. ESL-X for our front left. You guys can see we ran 14 gauge heavy duty wire, put some banana pins on there and located the outlets up behind it that are also surge protected, which is key. We are running at the rear of the room, the Martin Logan Electromotion IWs, and these are in wall. Folded motion tweeter design. And that's for our surround rear left and right, as well as our overhead. We're using the Electromotion ICs. And then we have our beautiful JVC. That's the DLA RS. 2000 native 4k all glass lens super hot right now guys and you can see we have the strong fine adjust projector mount on there that you always see me recommending and then down here we have the 1600 x massive subwoofer over here in the corner of the room all our equipment is terminating in a 
strong FS series rack. Does have the tube lights on here to light it up. We're using a 7.1 Integra. Got a Joey and then the Harmony Pro and a Sony Blu-ray player with an Apple TV 4K. Everything surge protected. Got a nice glass door with a lock on it here. We integrated in lighting control. The lighting control is Lutron Cassetta. And you can see we have the front lights separated out, which we pulled away from the cluster of the rears here, so that the customer can turn off the front lights to help give even a more crisp image on the screen, and then still be able to have their lights on, dim down at the rear of the room, so that they can see whenever they're eating their popcorn. The screen that we're using is the 235 Black Diamond from SI Screen Innovations. This is the five series with fixed frame. Gives a really nice traditional look with the ALR technology built in. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. I wanted to let you know that we really do appreciate your purchases. And if you would like to purchase any of these products, we do have nationwide free shipping and a low price guarantee. Make sure to give us a call or shoot us a text or email. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.